In this video, let's look at how easy it is to save out your document in InDesign in either Pages or Spreads view. Maybe your client prefers to view it in Pages or vice versa, or you're ready to send this to the printer. Well, let's look at some different ways to save out a document. In this first case, let's say our client wants to view this in Pages. We're going to go to File, Export. And to save on file size when I'm emailing this, I usually change it to interactive. We have it set, let's go with pages this time. And for viewing when they open this up in their Acrobat reader, they're going to see it all on the same all on the screen. So fit to page. You can change the layout of whether they're seeing this as single pages or two up. For compression, because we chose interactive, it's given us a 144 resolution and high quality, which is still pretty good. Let's go ahead and export this one. So if I do a preview, you'll see this is in pages view. Now let's say we wanted to save this out in spreads view. We can go to file, export. Again, I'm going to keep this interactive and we can do a hyphen spreads or you can do hyphen pages just to help you know which format you're saving it as. I'm gonna keep everything else the same. You can see in our document here, we've got a cover page and then our spreads. So here's our spreads view. You can see it's got our spreads saved correctly. Now let's look at how we would save this for printing. If you use W on the keyboard, you can toggle between preview mode and your normal working mode. So W is what you'll hit on the keyboard. And I can see now that I have a bleed on my document because there's a red line around the artboard. If you do not have one of these, we need to set up the bleed. So go to File, Document Setup. And in this section right here, if your bleed is set to zero, we're going to increase that. A common bleed is 0.125 inches. And actually, you can turn on the preview checkbox here and see how that changes. So this outer box right here. So when we save this for print, we're going to go to File, Export. I'm going to do a hyphen print. And I'm actually going to do Let's say we're saving this as pages for print. Sometimes I'll save out the document in pages and spreads view with the bleed and trim marks just to give the printer some options. And I, I'm saving this on print. Compression, these settings should all naturally go to the high quality settings, so 300 pixels per inch, maximum quality. On your marks and bleed, you definitely want to turn on document bleed settings, which automatically chooses our 0.125. And then I always turn on crop marks. You're welcome to turn on all of these with the toggle checkbox. And, but for the most part, I just turn on crop marks. So now if we preview our pages print document, you'll see the corners here have trim marks. So where this has a full background, you can see it's trimming. So when they cut the pages, there's going to be no white border around it. That's why you want to have plenty of bleed on any background images. So let's do the same for spreads. We go to File, Export. And 
and still saving to print. Here we're going to change from pages to spreads and make sure our bleed and crop marks are selected. What I've done to help speed this up in the future is once you have all your settings saved, you can save the preset and you can title it. Like I saved mine as, so I'm going to cancel this one, but for instance, that's one of my presets. So you do the drop down menu, it'll automatically go to this. So I could save it another level by choosing, you know, titling it with pages or spreads in the preset title. So my marks automatically sets my marks and my bleed to be on. And you can see now it's got trim marks and two pages up and view. Well, it's actually one page for the spread. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.